Hello everyone, this is Deborah, aka Twibytes from TikTok and Instagram and today I wanted to do a short tutorial on how I get my Twixter-like look without having Twixter. I don't use any plugins for my edits and I wanted to share this with you guys because I think it can make your edits look really nice when you have a really nice slow-mo. So without further ado, let's get started. After you have your clip ready, like what kind of composition size you want, the clips clipped out and everything, what you want to do is go ahead and pre-comp your clip. So right click on the clip, go to pre-compose, you can rename it if you want. I'm going to call mine Wanda VA. And make sure that this second um, box, move all attributes into the new composition, is checked and click OK. So now you have your pre-comp clip. There it is. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to double click on your pre-comp clip and you're going to go over here to the left side of your screen and under this little symbol that says frame blending you want to double click inside this box twice and it should bring up this arrow and what this does is it makes the slow down clip look really smooth and really nice. Now sometimes the clip doesn't look smooth and it doesn't look like nice and it looks really warped and I found that once we do like all our keyframing and stuff if you move your keyframes around that may help but sometimes I've also had to scrap clips because they just did not look right in slow-mo and that may also be true when you use Twixter so um, just try this method if you don't like it maybe choose another clip so after you double click under frame blending you're gonna close out of your composition and then you're going to make sure that your time indicator is at the beginning of your clip you're going to right click on your clip you're going to go to time and then freeze frame and this is going to drop a keyframe at the beginning of your clip and as you can see there's like a little time stamp at zero zero I usually don't change mine I like for my clip to start at the very beginning you can change that if you want then you're gonna take your time indicator and go almost all the way to the end of your clip you're gonna go one keyframe before and you're going to drop another keyframe now this time you want to put your mouse over this timestamp and you want to scroll forward and you're going to see that your clip moves and I'm going to take mine all the way to the very end of the clip which is at 110. Then I'm going to move this keyframe to the end and I'm also going to click Control shift D and clip that, that clip. Okay, if you press play right now, nothing is going to happen. That's because you have to easy ease your keyframes. So select your keyframes and click F9. And now go into your graph editor. I use the value graph and not the speed graph. If you're more comfortable with the speed graph, go for it. But I like the value graph for this. So what I do is I click right here and I pull this little bar up and I pull this little bar down. I'm going to close my graph and now if I press play you'll see that the clip is slowed down. Now the very beginning and the very end is going to be kind of fast and what you can do to make it how you want it is you can move these keyframes out and that'll change the speed of your clip. So like if I want to, I could like move that one out a little bit to change the speed. And so you just get this like really smooth, really nice Twixter like look without actually having Twixter. And that is how I slow mo my clips. If you guys have any other tutorials that you would like to see from me, please drop them in the comments below. And if you liked this tutorial, please give it a like and also a follow. I would love to post more for you guys. I hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you later.